Good evening everyone. Today in this tutorial we will discuss how how can we create this responsive text fields in Figma. First what I have right here is is this component. If you can see it responds very nicely. So every single component it has a right constraints. Okay, so right here I've added all the the components, all the elements that we have in this instance, but they be just grouped just for me to to save more time and we can just go ahead and I will show you how to, how to do that properly. Okay, let's get started. So let's move the elements here. So I'm gonna do first is create this, get this label and the icon and I'm gonna go ahead and add an auto layout. You can add an auto layout here or you can click and add it through here it's up to you let's let's name it label right cool so then we're gonna get the details so we're gonna get our details and drag them here we're gonna do the same we're gonna we're gonna get this component we this element which is label and the details we're gonna select them and we're gonna frame selection okay so that's gonna be our top let's name it top now we've done that now let's get placeholder text and add it right here let's check the padding stop and bottom we want it to be 10 and then on the left will be 12 let's get this icon eye icon and add it right here right that's cool let's check do the same so that should be 12 cool so now we've done that now we're gonna get this description line and add it right below it that's fine so now you can see we've got the top we've got the middle and we've got the bottom we're gonna do the same and and group them okay so gonna have the top which is label and these details the middle one is gonna be placeholder icon and the input field we're gonna group them uh, actually by the way let me show you how to create this this field as well because some people they might not know how to do that okay let's go ahead and rectangle click a rectangle right and let's create a rectangle so we're gonna have gonna select the color from here so it'll be DC DC E4 right that's gonna be our stroke so let's click right here let's add the stroke color let's copy it let's inspect it from here that's fine let's add the height to on um, on the um, 8 pixel uh, measurements okay because that's gonna save you a lot of time and you're gonna you're gonna learn how to do it and it'll be much easier when you will transition eventually and have have to design a mobile application okay so now we got our our placeholder done so let's move it to back so send to back okay that's now that's cool so let's position the copy correctly we got 10 12 let's do the same on the right cool now let's select it and frame selection that's gonna be our text field all right so then the bottom one is gonna be a description so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna we're gonna select all the elements that we have we're gonna frame selection okay so now when we frame selection we're gonna add an auto layout okay so then you're gonna see so now let's add the constraints so the reason the re the most important thing is that we have to add the right constraints to these elements otherwise they won't respond properly okay so let's add six pixels now let's add four we don't want it to be too spread out so what we're gonna do now is the top the top bit which is says top which is the label and details we're gonna here is very important is is gonna be fill container 
ok and it's gonna be fixed height now the next one is gonna be our placeholder so we're gonna do is make sure you click shift and put it left the constraints left and scale ok for the eye we're gonna do the same it's gonna be right and top okay so this the these are the constraints for the bottom one is gonna be the same as the top fill container and fix height okay so now let's check okay so now we're gonna do the same the same thing for uh, uh, for this uh, for this label so you can see at the moment right here it has constraints on the top and on the bottom so we don't need that what we're gonna do is click shift and says left and scale okay now let's check all the constraints that we have okay so let's make sure they all correct so now let's have a let's check the label the top is gonna be fill container fixed height okay for the middle which it says text field right we need it to be left and right because it was on the left that's why it was easy and weren't working it was left it has to be left and right if you put top if you put top right here or scale that won't work so it has to be it has to be left and right okay because when you grab it when you grab the the, the element the frame he has to understand where the constraints should be okay so let's do the same so the, for the middle for the elements inside right so we're gonna have placeholder is gonna be left and scale the eye icon you'll be top right and top okay this is what we want it to be and then description line so what we're gonna do is have fill container fixed height now the entire con container should be fixed width and fixed height okay so now when you will move it left and right entire content and it, all the elements will respond as expected okay